Hello Gemini, welcome to Truth Not Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your daily tarot reading for the sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. Remember this reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you as always. So let's see what we have for you Gemini for the day. We're looking at the 8th of November 2022 and the reading can generally resonate a few days longer than when it's released. So let's see what we have for our lovely Geminis please, Angel Spirits Guides. Thank you. We have number 39, safe home. I cast this circle roundabout. Safety now is beyond doubt. Okay, what do we have for Gemini, please? Angel Spirits Guides, message for Gemini for the day. 8th of November, please, 2022. Thank you, your cards have fallen out. We have the Six of Pentacles, the Fool, the Three of Cups, and we have the Knight of Cups. The, the first message, message that I'm getting here, Gemini, there's a couple of threads that I'm getting. One of this could be in terms of love, romance, relationship. So we will look at that in a moment. But the, the immediate message that I was getting is you're offered, you're offered help, maybe monetary help or assistance. Now, this can come in sometimes when we need additional money or support. It might well be from friends or family. It can also be about state aid as well. This is about, it's your time to receive, be open to receive with the Six of Pentacles. You will get what you need. That's the energy here. So it could well be some kind of financial offer of money here, however it comes into you. It's interesting because with the Fool energy, you're being told to go for it, take that leap of faith, don't think twice. Sometimes because there may well be, for whatever reason, even reticence to accept it, you know? So however it's offered, I feel that Spirit is saying, just accept it, accept help where it's offered. I mean, this can sometimes come up when there's an unexpected bill, you know, or some kind of unexpected expense that you you didn't realize was coming, you know? This can be that kind of energy. So it might well be you're given some assistance in terms of money when you need it. Because the Three of Cups can be your community. This can be friends, family, our kindred spirit connections. It's our, it's our clan, it's our, it's our group of people, you know, that we're all, you know, tight knit. So it's that kind of energy here. It's, and there's a feeling of, of everybody coming together to support you, you know, or someone coming together to support you. So that's the energy here. It's a sense of unity. You know, whatever you go through, we're going through it. So we will support you. That's the energy here. With the Knight of Cups, it's an offer driven by love, support, encouragement. So this is somebody offering you love. And I feel it's in the form of money areas. That was the first thing that dropped in because it's it's to to protect what's important to you, your home. It could well be, you know, people in your home even if it could be you yourself it could be you your children and so on and so forth so it might well be something is coming in and you know sometimes this can appear in unexpected ways as well because it can be very spiritual so this feels like something comes in and you're being told to jump at it if it's an offer that's been given to you or extended to you for those of you, it's something that comes in that can liberate you from the problem. So that's what I'm getting here quite strongly. But it, it, for the majority of you, it feels like it's driven by love, support. That's the energy that I'm getting. Now, for others of you, this can be a card of coming together. Can we reunite? Can we come together? Can we put whatever's gone on between us behind us? The Six of Pentacles, gift giving, gift receiving, sometimes seen as the breadcrumb card, though not always. It can sometimes represent somebody giving enough to keep you on the hook, but not giving everything that they could. But in this energy, I'm not actually feeling that. It feels like somebody is offering 
you know, if this energy of give and take, if we both give and take in this relationship, we can make it work. The Fool is an energy of taking a risk, taking a leap of faith, taking a chance on somebody here. With the Knight of Cups, this is love, romance, relationships, male or female with that Knight. And it could well be, like I said, in terms of getting everything stable back in the home, the family, the relationship. So that's what I'm seeing here, Gemini, quite strongly. Those were the two messages that were coming through really quickly as soon as the cards came out. And like I said, the cards remain the same. The message I get may well be slightly different in, or in different areas of life. Okay, what do we have for Gemini, please? It feels like you're given an important offer. We have never regret anything that made you smile. Okay, Gemini, I'm going to pull a final message. Final message for Gemini. Final message for Gemini, thank you. Final message for Gemini. Yeah, we have Magical Gateway. It takes courage and trust to venture into the unknown. Yet this is where the greatest rewards are. It's time to step boldly forward without looking back. That's what I have for you, Gemini. I hope you enjoyed your reading, found it helpful, useful. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a lovely day. I will see you next time.